Okay, our walls are two by six, so they're five and a half by five and a half. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of slop this time. So I'm going five and seven sixteenths, five and seven sixteenths. Then I'm gonna set up the laser. This laser shoots this direction, well really this whole direction, and then 90 degrees off. So what I'm gonna do is turn it on, center the handle. Once it self levels, I'm gonna make sure that the dot is right down on those uh, crosshairs basically. We'll do that after. Okay. Is I'm gonna use this thing in auto. So I'm just gonna set it. Just gonna set it close. Doesn't have to be right on the money. Okay, so that's close enough. Let me do this. Make sure that my laser dot is at the five and seven by five and seven. Okay, so on the detector is these crosshairs. That means that the, that the receiver will actually start to control the unit. So we're gonna go full auto, and then I'm gonna use the little stand to lean it back. So this mark here is what I wanna put on my five and seven sixteenths. And then we'll just see. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Okay, in this video, what we are doing is we are squaring up our main floor wall layout, starting with the exterior walls. We're gonna always take our biggest square, dial that in, and then we're gonna full layout for our interior walls. This is the Stabila LA-180 layout station. As I just mentioned, with the receiver, you can go full auto. The laser sweeps past and then comes back. You can see by the dial that it spins a little slow. We are checking to see how good we are or aren't coming out of the basement. So this is the acid test. Before we had squared outside and then we offset down in the basement five and three eighths. So we have to keep that in mind. Our mud sill itself is five and five eighths. It's always a little bit wider than our dug fur. Okay, so I'm gonna line it up with the thing there. So what I have here is off of this, I have three eighths. But remember, we were always going five and three eighths down in the basement. I have five and a quarter. That means that we're within an eighth. If I measure from the outside, which is what we did downstairs. So if I was really concerned, we could adjust. I'm not concerned. Five and seven sixteenths. Now we are five and a quarter. So we're gonna call that good. We are as square as we need to be. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna snap this line, the back line, and everything else will be parallel, north, south, east, west. As long as that corner's square, everything else will be square, because it's just offsetting. No catch, just kidding. We checked for square before okay, we so snapped five, lines, seven, because five, if seven. I needed to, where Kyle's at, I could have kicked that out Where's like the halfway eight, point? and that would have brought that other leg right of the triangle in. It's not worth it, in my view. Not Don't move it. the chalk line. We are as square as we need to be. Okay. Five and a half, sixteenth of an inch. My eyesight's not even good enough for that. You know, I say that as a joke, but in reality, I am getting older, and a sixteenth of an inch is nothing. Good. Now, granted, we don't want to let them accumulate. Okay. But in Let's each situation, guy. make Kyle. the decision, is the sixteenth or an eighth, does it matter in this case? Often the answer is no. Okay, so this matches framing. We'll just route this off, make it look a little prettier. Nicely done, guys. Did it work out, 16, five and a half? Yeah. Okay. So then if you hold me on five and a half, I'll hold the tape on five and a half. I don't need to be held. 
So outside to outside, 16, five and a half. So we're gonna match. Did you guys do this like right on the money? No. Okay. Okay. Then we'll adjust later. 16, five and a half. We'll go over here. 16, five and a half. I'm gonna go all the way to the front, Kyle. And I'm gonna go outside and walk around, then I don't have to bend over. Jimmy doesn't really like to bend over. Okay, at this point, I'm just gonna match what we have. Since we're hand cutting anyway. 37 foot five and seven eighths. 37 five and seven eighths. At this point, I don't care about the plan dimensions. I care about square and parallel and matching right what we here. with our mud silk. You good? Yep. 37, five and seven eighths. Five and a half, like right on the money. And then if you stay there, I'll get these next two and this guy. Okay. So here, is that kink a big deal? Or am I just seeing a dry spot in the tape? I think it's fine. So I got 31, five and seven eighths. So we're exactly Since six the foot. left That's and the good. back are square, Up as and long over as that 31, five and seven eighths. Then every other line will be square. 31, five and seven eighths. Five and six, we're within an eighth. I can deal with that. Can you deal with that? Five and a half. Okay, 35 foot, seven and two. I'm gonna try to not fall off this bank. 35, seven, and two. You good? 35, seven, and two. We're like five and five. So I'm just gonna shift that one back, just a hair. Okay, then let's pull this way. Our goal is that if we have any adjustments to make, that they are always less than a quarter. It's immaterial, immaterial. All right, you like it there? 63 foot seven, 63 foot seven. All right, you like it? 63 foot seven. And we are, we're five and a quarter. So I'm gonna roll this back to five and seven. Oh, that's not even. Now look at that, that is an eighth of an inch. Nice job, guys. So the No, I'm just gonna go an eighth. Because I had already been five and seven down there. Yeah, that's a good question. Eighth of an inch, that's nothing. I mean, and we're over. Um, the circle, the one closer to you. Yeah, sorry. Because I cheated that one just a little. So, I'll, um, can you hold me here? Just hold me to the black line. And yep, I'm just gonna match this. So I'm 127.6. Then we'll go back to the tamper. And we'll do the same thing. 127 and 3 8 And I believe that wall is two by six to two by four, right? So we'll um, snap this guy through and then three and a half it. All the way back. Yeah. Yep. Exactament. And then I'll give that to you. And I'm going to go three and a half. Aha. Yeah, we're looking good there. So, like, we, we kind of like. I don't even know how to say it. I feel like what we did shooting layout is we got everything down to a quarter of an inch coming out of a basement. That is not bad. Like it? Okay. Ben? But we're... No, I think Ben Bogey said, the guy he used to work for, we might not be the fastest, but we're the most expensive. <laughs> So I'm gonna go 23 foot, seven and a quarter.
And we'll go behind the radio. I don't think this guy extends, but we always can. What did I say? Even is what I thought. Okay. Okay, then let's go five and a half my way. Because we ran those out long anyway until we got. Because this guy actually might extend. Okay. I am good there. You like it? Okay. Okay, I think that's good enough there for now. Then let Yep. But I think I touched it to the side. All right, so while you're there, if you hold me, yep. as long as we're consistent, let me do this. I'm gonna mark five and a half, five and seven, it don't matter. Okay, I got 138. Right to here. Nope, nope. It don't. 138. Okay. Honestly, all we needed to get done today was the outside lines. So that's good. All right. Five and a half strong. Okay. Let's take a look at the plan. Yep, so what's the number? I think it's 32, 32 foot. 32 foot, three and a half. And that is outside? That is to outside to outside. outside of a two by four wall. And I'm seeing, Kyle, that it looks to me like it comes all, all, the, way. all the way. All the way. All the way. All the way, all the way. So 32, three and a half. Outside to outside. All the way. Okay, 32, three and a half. Outside to outside. 32, 32, three and a half, and 32 foot. Thirty-two, three and a half, thirty-two foot. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to, okay, I'm gonna slide it until. Okay, yeah, which is that guy. Okay. Okay, and then right there, go three and a half forward and I'll do the same. I gotta be getting close on that battery. I like it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go over to that corner and do all of that. Five plus, plus three and a half. Okay. I say let's snap that guy, and then it looks like. Nice. Seven, seven, minus three and a half. Ooh, nice spin move. Seven, seven. playing NBA 2K23 all week. 2K23? I don't know what that means. A game, do the back first. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I bet for me it's like it's the mid 90s. Crikey. 22 foot, nine and a half outside to it. You good? And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. 22 foot, nine and a half, and 23 foot one. Could be this guy. You like it? 22 9. 
no, 22, nine and a half, right? And then 23, one. Okay, you good? Okay, all right. So we've been pulling off the back. A lot of times I try to just keep that consistent. Like we have all these numbers. And I'm seeing 6, 10, 1, 7, and 7, 7. Plus four. <laughs> so I'll add up these. So I got three, three foot eight and a half. So I got that one. So I'm gonna go all of these. Yeah. Three foot and three quarters. Three foot, three quarters. Six foot. Six foot. Seven foot two and three quarters. That's ah, such an odd number. Okay, so that's 20 feet, which is probably gonna match this. Yep. Yeah. So let's snap that and let's snap all the way from that exterior wall, if we can, all the way to the garage. Yeah, so it's 20 feet outside to it. Yeah, because remember we had cheated a bunch of stuff there. So 20 feet outside to it. And if you come back just a little bit, yeah. Okay, 20 feet plus three and a half. I am good right there. <laughs> and then, yeah. I mean, honestly, because we snapped that back, I think we should measure it on one side of the stairway. 20 feet plus three and a half. And let's do it on that side of the stairs. And then I think this seam still needs to get nailed. Okay, 20 feet, 20 foot, three and a half. You like it? And the next one. Do we need more chalk in that? And then I think what we'll end up doing is we'll snap through to that. So if you stay on this side, I can always, right there. And then the front one. And we can always re-snap over here. <laughs> yeah. Took me a long time to stop putting too much chalk in. You like it? When the next one. All right, and then let's go over and try to blitz this. Man, I'm like two hours late. Oh well, such is life. Such is life. It's good to get this done. So we just snapped this line all the way through. That guy is all the way through. So, and we've already got this guy. So this guy here is 10 foot 11 from this guy. So we, I say, um, what is it from this guy? Or... yeah. So if we go, what is that number? Four, four feet plus 10 feet 11. Okay, so the, that you want to do this guy real quick? Outside to like or, a four footer. Oh, we've already done both. Yeah, so I think it's, yep. we can pull off this line, our four foot. So 14 foot 14 11? 14 foot 11, yeah. And that is what? That is outside to outside. To 14 foot 11. 14 foot 11 minus three and a half. Okay. 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 Shall we snappy snap? Okay. Would you believe that this is only the second time that Kyle and I have snapped layout together? And the first time we got rained out halfway through. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not that difficult. Everything's square and parallel. Really, the hard work was down in the basement because of all the step downs. And that wasn't even hard work because we had the Stabila layout station. In the old days, we used levels, batter boards, and can you believe it? 
plumb bobs. If you don't know what a plumb bob is, Google it. Yeah, really slow process. Now we have lasers that shoot square, and we have uh, laser plumb bobs. Ooh, life has gotten easy. Yeah. You know how many times I have, uh... How does that happen? I put gloves on? Yeah, I've sent the drone up, I think, on the foundation down there. And then... Sent it up. Did not hit the record button. Yep. And I'm just like, you. I like looking at these drones. I don't know why people don't, don't pull up. No, I love it. Oh, you're that guy on the internet yeah, that's like, you're a 16th yeah, out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my own mistake. It's like, yeah, I'm a, you're a 16th out, and it's like, you're on a little screen, and the drone's at 100 feet. I know, you're on it. <laughs> we all know that guy who thinks that he can spot a 16th of an inch with the drone up in the air. Ah, whatever. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Right there in the foreground where Kyle's at, we're going to have to pack that out after the sheathing is cut down, nailed from above and nailed from below, because that's gonna be the bearing wall that lines up with the garage wall on the right. All right, there is a whole lot more content as we keep rolling through this house. It's springtime. When the sun comes out, it dries out. Then it rains for a few minutes afterwards. It gets everything wet again. That's life. We got lines down with black. Depending on the black chalk that you use, it may or may not scuff and rub away. Or it might not. It's supposed to be permanent. I highly recommend the straight line chalk, which of course we did not use. Little known trick, you can hairspray those lines and they'll hold up to the water better. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.